Hi guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Mike. Today we're going to make a boring bar. A big boring bar. 400 mils by 30. This is the this is the biggest boring bar I had previously. I had a friend come around to do a job, my friend Mark. He was boring out some pipes and it looked like we were noodling the inside of the pipe. We were getting that much chat of that little one. So overnight I decided to make up the big one. It was going to be temporary, but now it's become permanent. It leaves a beautiful finish, and I'm really happy the way it came out. Come along and have a look. And thanks to watching um, Maddie's workshop. Um, last night he was actually using a large, way larger than this, boring bar he, used, he had previously made. So I thought I'd shoot down tonight and make a quick boring bar to go um, into one of my tool holders. So this is a piece of 30mm bar I've got. Um, I'll just clean it up, clean the ends up. I've set up my bar on the mill and now I'm just going to center find it and I'm going to mill out and leave a, a ridge through there which will be 12 mil, 16 mils wide by 12 mils deep and then that can lock into my tool holder on the lathe. Right so we'll come up, I've halved my Y on my DRO, come across Right, bang on centre. So I want the the piece that I leave in the centre to fit into my tool holder. And I'll make it as big as I can. So that's seven that's actually seventeen. So I might make it sixteen point five. Yep, sixteen point five. And depth wise depth wise it's 12, so just, I think 12 will be fine. That's what, we'll make it 13, then it can push right in there. 17 by, 16 and a half by 13. Okay, so what I want to end up with, this is my round bar, and I'm going to take, mill out this piece here, and this piece here. So I'll end up with a tab which would be 16 wide and 13 to fit in my tool holder and I can slide it I can slide that along the tool holder depending on how deep I want to go with my tool so I'm going to touch off So that's zeroed, zeroed my z-axis. I love this stuff. It's a um, Kim Z. That's a New Zealand company. It's fantastic. I actually thought I generally didn't like the spray stuff because it doesn't last long. But you just spray this on. It's got this real clingy. Last for ages. I've had this well, for months and months, so it's really good. And 
this is it, my DR arm, but I bring it along to 300 mil. I've got 300 mil movement. If I want to bore that long, which I don't think I ever will. I'm going to take a millimetre to start with and see how that goes. Very happy with that. Morning all. So what I'm going to do today, um, I'm going to cut a notch in this end, just a small notch here. I'll bring it down so the top of this, so I'll, first of all I'll bring it down to the center line of this and then I'm going to have to cut a pocket to fit this insert into it and drill and tap for the hold down screw. So first of all I'm going to do a 12mm by 12mm pocket in the corner there and then, then we will do a smaller pocket for this. That is my theory on what we're going to try and do. I'm going to bring up to halfway which is 15mm. I do need to bolt this mill down, it's just sitting on the ground and I can feel vibration in it. Always another job, isn't there? So I've now got to mill a pocket 4mm deep to take the insert.
Okay, a little bit unsupported out on the tip, but for light and for finishing it'll be fine. We've already used it on this pipe and it came up beautiful, so I don't want to really change it. So I'll just now clean up all these edges. I was going to run a chamfer around here, but I, by doing that I'll unsupport it even more at this tip, so I want to leave that. So I'm just going to file clean that up. we're over at the lathe we'll give this um, boring bar a test out so you can see what it does I've mounted it in my tool holder I've mounted up a bit of stock I've had and we'll um, give it a bit of a bore out it's interesting how you make something and you think oh I'm just going to make a temporary quick solution um, and how often the temporary becomes the permanent it really cuts fantastically. Right, let's give it a little bit of a go. of chips in this area and then it's scratching scratching the bore with the build up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to relieve right out to here I'll take a cut on the milling machine I'll cut this out so that the chips can actually go over to the back of the the, um, the hole that I'm boring so I'll just do a bit of a clean up in this area so like I said it's not it's not holding the chips in there. All right, I'll do that. We'll go over to the milling machine and do that. Okay, we're over at the mill, obviously. So, what I'm going to do, because I was getting that big build up of chips in this area, um, it was interesting when we were doing the very fine cuts on the pipe, internal part of the pipe, it wasn't an issue. It left a beautiful finish, but I was taking a much heavier cut with that piece of metal, and I have no idea what it was it was given to me so I'm going to mill out along here and I'll come up just up to this area here and on on the other side I'll mill out and come up like that that way and obviously across here so all of this will go hopefully it doesn't reduce the strength or stability of the boring bar. I mean it's way bigger than, than I need anyway. Um, so I'm going to take out the insert, set it up in the in the vise and then set a milling cutter up to cut it out. So I'll bring you back in. I'm just seat. going to start by taking a mill off and see how that goes. Helps if you actually go the right way. That was minus one mil.
That's a two mil cut this time. Doing a really nice finish. This may be the last mill, but I don't have to go right down to the top of the insert. Right, I think we will call that done. So I'm going to take it out and I'll file these all these edges and I'll put a little chamfer on the front now. And file and clean up. I'll do that in the vise. Right, let's go and give it another go. See if that's helped our issue with it clearing out the chips. We'll head over back over to the lathe. Okay guys, back at the lathe. Let's give our new boring bar a go. I'm going to run at 755 RPM and we'll do a very shallow cut. <laughs> Quite a stringy material this. Beautiful finish, beautiful finish. I'll bring you in to show you.
Okay, final thoughts on the boring bar. Very pleased the way it's come out. Very pleased the way it works. Um, it was supposedly a temporary job just to get us through um, boring out the pipes um, that my friend Mark needed. So I'm very happy. It'll it'll become a permanent one now. Um, thoughts on how it changed next time? Next time I would mill out the slot to fit the the insert a lot closer. Um, obviously, doing this was a great great change. I'm very happy the way that gets rid of the chip. Now, even those fine ones that build up aren't building up along here. So working on and, and damaging the finish. The finish comes out beautiful. I will now make up some smaller ones. I'll make two smaller ones because this will only get used occasionally when I need a very big boring bar. Um, so I'll make up a couple of smaller ones, probably a 20mm one and a 16mm one. Um, I've got an idea of how I'm going to make them out of some large bolts so that I've got a bit of a head on them so I can get the insert out further and it is supported underneath. Um, so come back and see that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.